Hello beautiful people, it's a very beautiful morning from all the way from Nyabuhanse, Kenya and uh, if this is your very first time uh, meeting me at this uh, YouTube space, man don't consider to subscribe, like, share, comment and also brother and sisters uh, to my returning subscribers man, you uh, guys are the best today. Uh, it's harvesting day and uh, I just came to my farm. You know, if you remember there's a video that I did of uh, me planting now it's time of harvesting come with me let me show you how we harvest in east africa village this is how we harvest like uh uh while we were planting i planted uh the corn the corn maize in a uh, in partition form like this one here are still uh, green and they can be used uh this one here is still green let me just show you it's still green it's still green corn and uh, you can use it with a mixture of maize and beans and uh, still, yeah, you can put food in your table and uh, this one here, people have started harvesting from the finger millet, maize and now people are harvesting from the beans beans were the first ones to mature beans normally take two months or to three, two to three months to mature that's the, the last portion that I'm yet to harvest and uh, crossing this road because this is the same road that connects me all the way from uh, uh, home to Serari border. My Yugno's place being there, Maro's place being there, Master's place is just around the corner. So this other type of maize here also is, uh, is now ready to be harvested, ready to be harvested. And why was I doing this? Because uh, the top, top, top leaf of this plant, top part of this uh, maize plant, uh, we use a machete to cut them cut them so that you may feed uh, uh, it's animal feed like cows sheep so uh, it's easier for them to dry this way compared to them being fully because now uh, the heat is hitting uh, the sun is hitting them directly and also uh, there is no uh, how do you call it is it osmosis transportation of water so it makes it to dry easily so this is the next one that I'm going to to harvest and the part of uh, the maize that I really planted here was called tembo. It's called tembo. Though the crazy part of it is, uh, uh, the crazy part of it is, you see, there's a, look at the farmer. And uh, so the crazy part of it is, um, it takes time. Uh, right now, the fertilizer was really, 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 really affordable. Because it went like thirty-two dollars to thirty-five dollars, yeah. But uh, the problem, the problem was uh, the seed, the seedlings, the seedlings. So the seedlings is one of the major part that was a problem to the farmer. Pipi mura, baka wapi? Baka wapi ke? The farm, the river. Give yourself a shout out. Hello, my beautiful people. It's a Monday morning, it's a beautiful morning, as you can see people are working. Are you working? Or where are you going? Because the time right now it's around 11. 11? Uh, around the 10. Yeah, it's around 10, but I want to go to the river and take oh, body the wash. Yeah. Okay, me I'm harvesting, I'm harvesting up there. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was just showing them the difference on how I planted my maize. So I'm still harvesting, you have a good day. Yeah. So guys, if you're coming from my end, go check him. What's your YouTube channel, please? My YouTube channel is Jeff Raima. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah. yeah. So guys, let's take him around to 1,000. Yeah, he's just also an upcoming YouTuber. You know, this is the village of YouTubers. Now on my hand, this is the, uh, the weapon of destruction. Yeah, I'll show you how we use it. But you can also tell me, how do you harvest your maize corn? Uh, which is the formula, Mama? Baria mm Subui. -hmm. Yeah. Uh, which formula do you normally use to uh, harvest your corn? So I started a little bit, uh, but because of my charge, uh, I wasn't uh, able to start filming. But uh, yeah, I'll show you. We've been doing a progress. And uh, I told you the, the challenge uh, the challenging bit is from uh, the seed, uh, the fertilizer was really affordable, around $35. And uh, no, yeah, $35. And also... <clears throat> Um, uh, the challenge part was uh, the seeds, the seed, uh, the seed crop seed that uh, we're planting. 
yeah it was a problem because it was kind of high also because you normally uh, buy them for around uh, uh, for around let's say uh, uh, how is it 0. Uh, 0. 0.7 dollars but it went up to around uh, one to two dollars so it was really a tricky bit part so that's where the government is telling us and want to tax us from there so guys i started earlier and uh, also uh we've been having the sessions of i didn't tweed this farm but i used uh, some wood controllers that i i managed to spray so that the weeds may die and all the nutrients could go back to the plant so this were this already a farmed farm a harvested farm see now the deadly of the deadliest these are called the safari ants the red ants safari ants once they they get into your body wow wow you know the, how the work is done so we started harvesting this is the farm that i'm harvesting so once we harvest using uh this kind of a this kind of a nail that uh let me just show you we started harvesting bit by bit people are uh, see put them into we we actually put them together we pile them together like that i would make camera you can see things from both sides yeah so you normally pile them together but i would be showing you how we have it if you remember this farm i started planting uh this farm at uh june yeah yeah, no, September, Oct September, we started planting this one. Started planting this one. So you can see how we, we pile them before we start, uh, before we start uh, we harvesting them. So we pile them, and I think it's normally good to go. And uh, let me just show you how we normally do it so that uh, we can get... Uh, To do is a uh, uh, so for my camera, you know, there's some things you cannot do it all by yourself. So we use this nail, uh, this nail here, to remove the cover of this maze. Then we throw them. And I said, I'll be showing you how we do it. So come with me. This is the road. So this one is ready to be harvested. You can see how it's dry. But uh, we've been piling them. We've been piling them, we've been piling them, but also uh, we have some, um, we have some, uh, how do you call them, we have some, uh, some maize corn, yeah, so this is how we pile them, we have some, uh, sorry, we have some groundnuts that are yet to be harvested, so I need to be cautious on those people who have cows to not let them in, you see. We have uh, some ground. So we've been piling them. So we've been piling them. Piling them, piling them, piling them, piling them. Piling them, piling them. So we started harvesting all the way from that side. Uh, the piled one, and not, uh, they are not yet ready harvested, but uh, yeah, we started coming all that way with all this line and uh, all the way here. All the way here. So guys, um, right now uh, I just brought uh, one of my, my cattle here and I need to, I had uh, uh, some sick mother cow but uh, this is one of my uh, young heifers and a male calf bull and uh, the other one here this was a sick cow actually uh, it's in medication right now seeing it you it was they are rearing so much i think it's because of uh, the lukewarm or something and uh, i had to inject it some vitamin and some uh, how do you call it and some uh, air vitamin uh, uh, the warming and some uh, how to and uh, some skin uh, skin smoother so that uh, 
have the skin is smooth so i'm going to tie it there and uh, yeah i'll just start with this because i haven't started uh, putting together the pile of uh, the pile of uh, <coughs> yeah i haven't started putting together the pile of uh, of the maize that uh, we still harvesting so guys are still back they're taking some breakfast others were just shying away Uh, uh, so guys, this is how we have a stone base. I've uh, tried to bring this young calf here and tie it around uh, where there's a uh, good passes, cleaner passes. So this is how we go. Where is it? Eh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so this is another challenge the rotting maze these are decayed maize, the rotted maize. So, yeah, so, so that's a rotted maize. And this is the other maize here. So now this is the yield. Right now we're harvesting. The sun is up. But also the rain normally rains. So we came uh, from that end. This place just making a, a, a U-turn. And harvesting. So guys, uh, we're still harvesting. You may tell me in the comment below, how do you harvest in your area where you are how do you harvest your maize in your area you know we have some uh, people who have technology they use some tractors to harvest but here we use human labor to harvest so uh it's good that way no errors are done and also you know try the technology of uh, using maybe tractors harvesting and also i have a brother of mine here bro hey. What's on? what are you doing i'm harvesting maize yeah yeah and uh what is the challenge part of you harvesting maize? Is it tiresome or? It's not tiresome. Yeah. I just don't know any sample to use labor to harvest. Uh -huh. yeah. So this is the best part of uh, uh, Komkulima. Yeah. This is the best part. Harvesting. How much is a kilo of maize right now? Have you harvested your maize? I've uh, almost, but yeah. I know a kg, but kg. Most is at three shillings here. Yeah, thirty three. Yeah. Kenya shillings. That goes for almost uh, thirty dollar uh, three uh, zero point three uh, dollars. Yeah, per kilo. Yeah, so per sack goes for almost if it's a hundred uh, kg, that's three thousand. Uh, yeah, hundred to yeah, that's three thousand kg. So it goes that's three thousand per sack. A hundred kg, thirty per kilo. A hundred kilos. So that's three thousand. Uh, that's around. Uh, 30 30 dollars yeah so let's uh we harvesting people under the sun it's really hot let's see how it's gonna be so don't go nowhere it's tintaki underscore one and i have paulo there and his friend they're doing their job you know it's no good to talk while people are in the farm uh -huh. yeah paulo is looking like tell him i'm greeting paulo hi hello hi. salute eh? so, so guys so let's keep on uh pushing you see people are in pile of two with two those are three yeah because uh the the number is odd it's not even we are seven if we could have one it could be two 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 per pile so we're rushing because of the sun and we're sweating you may tell me in the comment below how do you harvest your maize where you are beat in uh, canada america australia wherever you're watching us from south africa israel you may tell us how jamaica you may tell us how do you harvest your maize locally this is the best part. Uh, we need to prepare our lands to start farming. We pile them fast. Then we'll be good to go. Sintaki underscore one dogo no. So how are you guys? I'm fine. Uh, can you please introduce yourself and what are you doing? Yeah, I'm Adventures Kenya yeah, at YouTube. I've come here at Manu's place to assist him in any harvest. Yeah, Sintaki, Sintaki. You know we have our local names. Yeah. So it's Sintaki underscore one. Yeah, Sintaki underscore one. Ah. Yeah. So, uh, have you ever have you ever harvested? Oh, this is your very first time you harvesting maize. Maybe the third time. Third time. Yeah. So you don't plant maize. 
we plant. Yeah. But we have not harvested now. Oh, you've not harvested now. Yeah. Ah. What are the advantage of harvesting and disadvantage? Apart from uh, this method that you're using, do you know any other method of uh, maybe harvesting maize that we've ever seen? No, I think this is the one, the one we're using also. The common one? Yeah. So why do you use this maize? So we use this so that you cannot um, you cannot injure have, your have fingers, blisters, in your, blisters hand. in your hands. Yeah. Yeah, because you know the uh, the leaflets, the covers are really hard yeah. sometimes. So and uh, others act like a blade, you know. Others are dry; they can be like a blade, and they can split your fingers if you you have a tender uh, tender soft uh, hands. Hand. So so give yourself uh, the last shout out uh, while you continue. So follow me on uh, on YouTube at yeah. Adventures Kenya. Like and share my videos. Watch, you'll enjoy them. Yeah, yeah. So guys, uh, go watch him out till the end. Don't skip any ad. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we still have this thing. But uh, I came to realize, you know, the rains were many. So uh, the rains were so much that uh, some of the corns are rotting. You know, also that's uh, another disadvantage to a farmer. So. Some uh, corns are rusting, are rotting because of the main, uh, because of the much rains that have been raining. You know, the weatherman predicted that we're gonna have El Nino, and El Nino was here bit by bit. But uh, right now, uh, that rain, you know, even when food is too much, it can be a problem. And uh, another challenge that we normally face, like, uh, see, this is the problem. You may find uh, others left. So the other uh, disadvantage is this plant. It looks beautiful, but uh, it's called a witch weed. Yeah, a witch weed. This plant is really dangerous. Really, 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 really dangerous because uh, it doesn't... Uh... Once uh, it's here, it drains the plant, all its nutrients, water, and it's so much poisonous on the land. So it's called a witch plant. So you may tell me what you think, what you normally do with them. We just uh, remove them and go throw them away at the river so that they may be carried away by, uh, by the flow, by the current of the, of the river. Because once it's around, even from the name that I told you, it's which weed is a problem. So guys, we still have a thing. Yeah, before the sun gets to we still have a thing. We still have some piles to harvest. And uh, yeah, bad occasion in the lair. <laughs> the rib of the man. Yeah, sorry, the boy. <laughs> I'm here. I'm yeah. working. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> so we started uh, taking it all that side, coming this way, coming this way. This is the last pile here. The, so that one here, and head, we're going up. So I'll be having this is the first farm, but I'm working with it. Uh, so guys, um, I'm from uh, the topmost, as I told you, I partitioned my farm in uh, three, 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 uh, three harvesting time. The difference, the timeline was really big. As I showed you earlier, you see, now this one is next that uh, is supposed to be on the line in harvesting. So you may tell me, what do you think? Am I going to get a good harvest? For starters, because the rains were so much, as uh, the other man predicted El Nino, the rains have been so much and now you find that most of the corn are rotting. Yeah, that's one challenge that we normally face if the rains are too much. But all in all, all we get, I think, uh, we'll be glad. We'll be glad. And then I'm told that uh, these normally grow where there's a source of water. So once you find that in your compound. Wow. So man, uh, this is also my farm. This farm too. See, these are rodents that are eating up the corn and leaving them. Yeah, just down here. So another challenge is the termites. Uh, the termites can eat up all this stock and start now eating the raw stock from it. So that's the challenge part. That's the challenge part. But we love challenges 
and uh, the best part is we learn from our challenges so that next time we we may grow stronger than that you know they normally say whatever they they usually say whatever doesn't kill you just make you stronger so guys this is what's making us stronger running away from poverty season two uh so guys we started uh now uh collecting these uh, putting them in the sacks now we need to start carrying them so i'll have to bring this so we actually transport and take them there transport kind of yeah. huh? what do you say we're transporting them to the main road because now the trans uh, the pickup cannot access cannot access to this side so we're just taking them we finished up there uh, we'll call it a day today but uh, as from uh, tomorrow we need to start again English. Yeah, it's recording. We take both the rotted yeah, ones. Uh, we, we take the, both the rotted ones and uh, the fresh. The rotted ones can uh, can act like we sell them to those people who make liquor. Uh, local brew. It's called Kenoko. Um, see, I was in Tengneza Kenoko. Yeah, Tengneza Kenoko. Yes, Kenoko. Kenoko. <laughs> So this is the most tiresome part of everything. This is the most tiresome part. Yeah. Transporting. But, yeah. yeah, transporting. You see what it's doing? So it's, it's transporting maize. Yeah. Transporting those maize cones to this area. So uh, we're still on the process. I won't uh, go and I won't mill them today uh, because I've not finished uh, finished harvesting. But for today, because of the rains that are showing the signs of raining any time, we need to take them home. Yeah. So this is mine that I'll be taking. And uh, you see how we're sweating. Mm -hmm. We're sweating because of the work now. How's it going? Yeah, so uh, it's a tiresome process, but uh, yeah, the best part is uh, we eat and uh, yeah. and uh, at least we're moving this food from uh, the farm because if we leave the food from the farm, it's going to be a problem one because uh, it's going to rot and uh, food security. It has been a problem and this is how we run away from poverty in Africa so to all my kindly subscribers keep on check me out don't uh, skip any ad till the last moment yeah you see Sokoro Sokoro is there Babu <laughs> yeah so this is where we we placing them before the transport comes due to uh, due to we don't have much we don't have okay Okay, we do. Yeah, we don't have my cameraman. Shout out to Steve, British. Uh, we don't have much uh, sacks to carry this, but uh, yeah, 
we we try to manage with the little that we have but uh, new sacks are coming so you I just told you the other farm uh, we're going to to mill them together with this other farm so uh, right now because of the rains you cannot do that so we don't want to go for we don't want to go for a loss yeah so it is what it is man Sintaki underscore yeah So again, we're trying to find them here. And we wait for the car. This is my, my first cousin, and uh, he was the one who was helping me. Who's of Ipe? Poor, poor. Mazuri, you know, Kazi. Yani Kazi, you know, Kamaka? Yeah. Kamaka. Ah. Fresh. So here, you can get a little bit of a Kamaka, Waida. Yeah, so these are the gentlemen that I've been working with. They are really, they are really busy, so I need to go and carry mine also. Because it's not good. What about it's not good for somebody to record people and you're not doing some work. So let me go take my mind, then I'll be back. Yeah, if and uh, yeah, you're transporting me. <laughs> if 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 you find an old man like him, he's working. Honestly, and you find a, a young man in the village is complaining, 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 you know, you want shortcuts in life. There's some things in life you cannot achieve if you're really in need of shortcuts. You need to work hard, yeah? Even our holy scriptures tells us you need to work hard, yeah? So people are working hard, really hard here, yeah, and uh, you see from them working hard, they can provide and put food, food at the table. So this will be the last cones that I'll be harvesting because they're still green. Still green. Uh, my wife's corn, so it's still green. But uh, I guess this is the last one that I'll be harvesting. But right now you can uh, roast them, boil them. Uh, and uh, it's still good. So uh, my, kind, my kind message to all the youths outside there, those who love complaining. We have those uh, lazy, lazy, lazy gang, lazy people who don't want to go farm. Uh, at the farm, who don't want to do anything, uh, just sit, relax with their good phones. Man, uh, we are the youths, we are the future of Africa. So if you're not, uh, if you do not dedicate ourselves on our future, we as Africans, because from the food security, uh, like these maize that I'm harvesting right now, they can sum up to be cash crop and food crop. Cash crop is whereby uh, if I don't have money right now, I can just sell part of the maize. Uh, let's say like if I've got like uh, uh, 50 sacks of maize, I may take like 20 and I sell and uh, the others 30 I retain. Or I may retain 20 and sell 30. So that's food security. So for those people who are lazy, you see all the guys that I'm working with, they are youths and one old man. So uh, how old is how you feel? Yeah. Oh, am I saying something wrong? We have boys who, we have men who don't want to go to the farm yeah, and they're sitting 24-7. What is your message to them? If, uh, if Musakoro is here working, what is your message to them? Lazy people should not eat. Lazy people should not eat. Yes. <laughs> Lazy people should not eat. That's a parting shot. Let's continue the work. Yeah, so guys, I'm finally back at home. Yeah, this is the last trip. I think uh, I yeah we placed some and uh, we have some, but others we, we kept them inside. So this is the first uh, first farm that I I started uh, harvesting today. So this is the last trip, and due, due to because of the tree, uh, the rains that I told you just got us caught unaware. Now uh, you see uh, others started rotting because of the many rains, but actually uh, we placed others somewhere here. So uh, we brought others inside here, so this is going to, to be my, my store for the time being, because of the freshness. So I need to place them here so that uh, they may keep on uh, 
being aerated. Yeah, aerated. So guys, thanks to all those guys who just gave me company. And uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that's the first harvest. Now we're waiting for the second farm to start harvesting. You may also tell me in the comment below, how do you feel? It's drizzling, it's drizzling, you see. Really, it has started drizzling again. So, this is the only thing that made us leave, not uh, to, to, to finish harvesting. But tomorrow, waking up again, going to harvest, day two, running away from poverty. Sintaki underscore one, guys. Go check me out to my channel space, Instagram. Uh, it's Nucho G Manu. And then Facebook also, go check me out. Let's spread some love. Watch the ad. Don't skip any ad. Watch the ad till the uh, till the last moment, please. And you guys, you're the best. So it's Sintaki underscore one. Thank you for your moment. And uh, big brand here. Uh, big shout out to Stefan all the way from uh, Anguilla. Uh, the big damn dogs. Damn damn. Damn damn dogs. Yeah, big brand. But uh, something funny also, the damn damn dogs got some damn damn rats, you know. They decided to, yeah, to seize the opportunity. So, guys, it's Tentaki underscore one. Thanks, thanks, thanks. It's in the evening. Uh, since morning, I've been in the farm. Now, let me see how I'm going to bring them in. So, don't go nowhere. Thank you.